It is such an inspiring scene, isn't it? Oh, Across the line, then that's how you're going to look if you run this. I think she's just inspired by all of this marathon running. It's really inspired her. But you have got runners out there today, and that's really important for you because it's not just about them raising money, it's about raising awareness of this incredible foundation. Just tell me a little bit about when you turned what was obviously grief and anger and frustration into something which is so positive. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's not something that I could envision. I couldn't see this. I literally was taking one day at a time, and I just had it in my heart that I wanted to reach one kid at a time. I wanted to be a dad to another child and, and do what me and Tracy done for Cayenne, do that for another child. And it's just grown and grown, where now I've just got this drive and insatiable appetite to just reach more young people. So there's a campaign that I began. It's called Your purpose, your destiny, and we want to inspire young people to live their best lives now. We want to create employment opportunities with them. We need as much support as possible from corporates and other individuals, and we want to go around across the UK giving young people opportunities to change their mindset and do what's best for them. We need 150k to raise to reach 100,000 young people. And, and stop pointless crime, violent crime, which, which is t totally random so often, isn't it, as well? And your son was the victim of that. And so many parents watching this would think, how you know, do you have the bravery to do something so positive? But for you, the legacy of Kyan is so important. No, it's very important because what we're doing is stealing young people's lives and we don't know their future. So they could be our future leaders. They could be our future football stars and boxing stars and we're taking their lives so early so we haven't seen what they could have been. I was out there on the streets. If somebody took my life, they would have never met me, a guy that was able to do what I'm doing through this. So, so I'm trying to show people the results of taking people's lives is not worth it. Young people, put these knives down. There's a great future ahead of you if you focus on what gifts God has given you. And of course, we heard Les Ferdinand there talking about uh, how good a footballer Kyan was, and Queen's Park Rangers themselves have run with that, haven't they? You know, renaming the stadium as well. They set a new president, showing other clubs how important it is to deal with um, um, issues that are uh, um, affecting our own community. And um, QPR stood up and made sure Kyan's name and legacy was going to be uh, branded forever. It's never going to be forgotten now. And you've just been so impressed by what you've seen here today. And there was a moment ago where two runners were helping somebody across the line. I, I feel that this you might be just getting your trainers out and running this yourself, I'm sure. I love that so much because it really demonstrates, as usual, sports always demonstrates what life's about. Helping each other to get across your journey and make it. Training, preparing, having the right mindset, finishing what you began. This is what Marathon One is about and it's a great life lesson. Thank you so much for joining us today. And, you know, stay here because your runners will be coming across the line very soon. Excellent. And I just want to thank everybody that's donating to the Kind Prince Foundation because we are proving that what our model does works. We actually do change young people's lives. Well, you're doing an amazing job, Mark. Thank you for talking to us. Let's head out because uh, amongst the seas of bobbing heads out there on the streets of London might well be some of those Kyan Prince runners wearing their distinctive vests. And best of luck to them and all the runners out there. Let's enjoy this.